Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are continuing with our Neo 2 uh, blind playthrough. Now, last time, we had a run-in with a monster in the forge. Killed us a bit. Um, we had to learn to play a little bit different. Learning how to like use some of the yokai abilities a bit more efficiently. Uh, and using deflect. Um... But, we felled the beast, and we completed the beast born of smoke and flames. So, I think the goal for this episode, because we want to try out our new weapon, we got the cursed sword, um, and we got that new soul core ability from the uh, uh, the boss, um, we're going to run some of the submissions before we go into the Viper Sanctum. Now, I the name of that boss sounds sick. The Viper Sanctum. That sounds awesome. Um, so it looks like our submissions, we have a voice in the twilight, dark omens, and then the main mission. I think what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can clap both of these in one episode. So, uh, this is the voice in the twilight. Hey, do you remember the village where we first met? Well, we've received a request from the elder there. I know you've already taken care of their yokai problem, but lately they've been hearing strange noises after the sun sets. It's put a lot of people on edge, and it's making some inhabitants reluctant to return to the village. Most likely it's a yokai you missed last time, but even a bandit trying to stir up trouble. Either way, we need to get to the bottom of this. So go see what you can find out. I love that this guy is facilitating this... Me, a demon man, running around and just killing stuff. He's like our handler. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, maybe we see that girl from last time. Because she was a badass. The girl with the switchglaive. I told you guys, man. The switchglaive? She knew. And you should, too. The switchglaive is nasty. So... I don't actually know... What this is going to look like here. We needed our... Stamina to level 7, I believe. Let me look. We picked up... We have a bunch of gear. Um, I don't know what... Your reputation level has increased. You've received uh, prestige points. You can view your prestige points in the title window. Okay, we'll look at that in just a sec. Um, so this is stuff we got last time. Um, we're familiar with that. Uh, here's our sword. What did I want to look up? Oh, it was in our armor. Stamina, yeah. So if we get seven stamina, we might even just kill something and heal up to full. Because it keeps saying like 11%. So, I don't actually know how this works per se, but auto life recovery, enemy killed. Now, there's like a blue box, but it's not checked. What does that mean? Or does it mean... Oh, it's got kind of like an arrow at the top. Here's our new soul core ability, by the way. Fire Twister from the Enra. Okay, what is this title stuff all about? Here you can view your gameplay record and acquired titles and conditions for locking new titles. You can also select prestige bonuses earned from collecting titles. Are these just passive things? Does this tell me how many times I've died? How do I go down? Oh. It doesn't have deaths? Oh, that's damage. Starting point? Oh, some of these are locked. Scenario. Large, humans, yokai, other. Soul cores. Distance traveled with a scampus. I don't know what that is. Gestures, hot springs, shrines, divine rice. Where's deaths? If I've missed it here, is that, that's definitely possible that I just missed it. We're six hours in. Feels like that's where death would be. But I don't know what. I don't know what these are. I'll, okay, I'll, maybe I'll look at this a little bit later and see if... Um, 
Oh, types of deaths experienced. Oh, deaths one. It, it's right here. Types of deaths experienced. Six. <laughs> getting your ass whooped. Getting your ass beat. Getting your ass smacked. That's three of them. <laughs> okay. Um, you can gain prestige bonuses by spending prestige points. Are these even good to upgrade? Are you sure you want to spend prestige points to obtain the selected bonus? After you obtain it, another bonus will take its place in the list. Ah, yes. Makes sense to get something like this early. That way we can get the most benefit out of it. What the hell is this? What? This feels like I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Elixir efficiency. Get it. Key recovery speed. Get it. Equipment drop rate. Mm. No, give me the power of the magic. Key recovery speed. Bump it. Key. Bump it. Magic power. Double it. Make my elixirs better, yes. Life, yes. Uh, I'm actually gonna get this gold one. I still don't know what gold does. Life, I want that. Yeah, give me more gold. And more key recovery speed. Okay. I don't I don't even know what these are really for, but Ungio and Agio. Ah. Okay, I don't really know what these points are for, but... Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for it. Stuff we learned last time. More skills. So... I was thinking a lot about this. I like the high stance a lot. The way of the warrior novice. Wait, it, we unlocked that. I remember it saying that. Oh. This is just sick. So we're going to get this. Um. Okay, we're not going to upgrade these right now. Because that way of the warrior novice. I think that's a training mission. I'm not sure. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I will take a look. Um, probably before this goes up. But uh, any tips on if all of these missions are like that? Right. If I'm going to get a ton of these points and there's no real benefit to hoarding them, someone can let me know and I'll just start spending them on stuff and testing things out. Um, I like the high stance though, like the slower, more damage style. So I'm trying to save them for that purpose. But if there's no need for that, then I won't. We got another one of these, though. What did I put on this? Oh, water talismans. Right. Life leech talismans. When used, these magical items make enemies release vitality when damaged. Oh, shit. Water shot talismans, when used, they allow to summon a magical ball of water energy. You know which one looked really cool? The purification. Yeah, this is sick. Additional. Oh, wait, never mind. That's that one. Resistance. Divination. Oh, never mind. I thought that was going to be like, I could put like, um, like holy damage on my talismans. Where does this end up going to? Rejuvenation. So this, this is water. This is all about like health. 
is what I'm gathering from this. Water Shikigami. Oh, shit, it's a bomb. What, what about these ones? What do these do? So that's obviously fire. Fire shot. Fire stop. Devigorate. Oh, it makes them weaker. The fire looks so sick. Lightning also looks sick. Maybe this is the holy route. Gust. Uh, lightning stop talismans. Thunder shot talismans. What's this? Shockwave. Oh! Okay, we're gonna... Hmm. We're gonna stick with water for now. Allows you to ready life leech talismans. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna stick with water. I kind of already committed to that. And that's kind of like the theme we were going for at the beginning. So... That poison is sick. I don't want to get rid of that. How does this talisman thing work? Does it happen here? It's not a jutsu. I don't believe. Ah, it is. Hmm. Honestly? Wait. Water talisman and water amulet are different. Okay, so... Well, they look the same, but... Maybe they're not. Okay. What does this do again? Oh, it's the paralytic one. Okay, well, we got there's so many to test now. Um, what's the last thing we need to do here? Oh, we need health. Offering. Place the signpost to your current location, which is also displayed on your compass. It's imbued with the power of the Jizo Bosatsu, who protects children from early death and is designed to keep people on the right track. Lightning amulet. Oh, is, am I have to fight lightning stuff here? Is that why it's giving me all of this? No, that's fine. All right. I wonder if I should change my guardian spirit. Oh, it gives me 200 life. Okay, never mind. Can you imagine if you had 200 less life? I'd be getting destroyed. Wait a minute. This is where I fought the big guy. There's one of those cats down there. Okay, hello. Hello, friend. Give him a pet. Nice. Give me that buff. Ooh. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, that is some. Oh. Oh. That is some, some damage. The cat's like attacking him. Oh, that is huge damage. What are these? Oh! Oh. 
know what the time it is? Except for this. Oh, he just like knocked me out of it. Oh, these guys are annoying. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't recover. I, was, I needed to recover there. Okay, we're good. Oh, this sword is nuts. Oh, well. that. Oh, that's a... Let's not die here, please. Oh, no. I'm dead. One more. Oh, Jesus Christ. What am I doing? to be our revenge here. He has an infinity range. Oh, he used a bunch of fire there. Oh, smokes. Oh! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're good. Got a bunch of stuff. Thank you, friend. Is, oh, so that's it. All this mission was. Let's grab all our stuff. Take a quick peek. Just look over here real quick. I'm assuming we'll be done. Yep. Okay. God damn. Let's look at our stuff. A charge. Some wood. A fire amulet. That's cool. Better version of the same boots. With toughness instead of running speed. Those, we don't really care about those. Uh, guard consumption is less and it's better. Ooh, it's heavy though. I don't want to use that. Auto life recovery. That's. Oh, this is nuts! But look at how heavy it is. Is this a demon weapon? It does more damage. How do I... 
an odachi forged by swordsmiths in Yamashiro province, present-day Kyoto uh, prefecture. Long and deeply curved, it is suited for slicing and parrying. No. Okay. Well. Enemy killed. This, that one is... That is better. Or it's not as good. Oh man, this thing is nuts. But I don't... We're gonna be too heavy. We'll just have to ignore it for now. What's this? Oh, okay. I think it's over. Alright, that was a cool little mission. And we did it without dying. Which is good. And we dicked around. With our... Um, our magic. Not gonna lie. The katana makes the combat so much more fun. Phew. The yokai extermination was a job well done. The village elder sent... The village elder sends his thanks too. I just realized they told us that we might have forgotten one. We did. That big guy, we left him the first time we did this. Interesting. Uh, I told him that the only yokai left was that strange cat thing that looked like a steamed bun, but I imagine he won't uh, keep the villages from returning. I do wonder what it was yapping about, though. It didn't seem like it was especially hostile to people anyway. Any idea what it was saying, Heidi? I mean, you're half yokai, right? No? Ah, oh, well. No. Ooh, a demon horn. What is that? Can I look at that? I gotta wait. Uh, this one's kind of dust. It's rank three, though. You know what? I'll use it instead of that. We'll have a charge and the tornadoes. You've accumulated enough astral wisdom to unlock certain shifting skills. Yeah, I think um, the way of the warrior is here. Uh, we're going to ignore it first, and we're going... Wait a minute. Is there another mission to do? Oh, the red is main mission. I got you. Okay. Let's go do this. Hey, listen up. We've got our next job from Master Dosan all lined up. Sounds like a merchant that deals with Master Dosan regu regularly has gone missing. He wants us to try and track them down. It seems like this character also deals in spirit stones. And with the world this way... Uh, the, sorry. And with the world the way it is these days, that may as well have... It, they may well have run into trouble. Uh, anyway, this is a big chance for us to earn some Master Dosan's trust. Let's wrap this up nice and quick and earn ourselves a decent meal. Time to get going, Heidi. Alright, sure. We slayed through that other mission. It was like a, it was like a gauntlet. Um, it shows that our power level has gone up considerably. Because we struggled a bit with those guys before. Okay, let me look at this. What did we get here? A forging material used by blacksmiths. A yokai material taken from the yoki. Rods of solid amrita. These horns protrude from the heads of demons and are the source of the creature's strength. Destroying them causes the demon to temporarily lose its power. Oh, it's a forging material. Okay, I thought I could use that. When used, a scan... Oh, that's the cat. We saw that in the uh, the stats. This type of clay bell has been used since the, uh, the Jomon period, and it was originally used both to attract attention and to ward off demons. The bell's beckoning cat-like form is intended to bring a good fortune. I wonder if this is any... If this is accurate at all to, like... Re like, not, I don't want to say real-life lore, but, like the history of Japan, like, in reality. Because these little charms are seen everywhere um, in Japan. Like, things like this. Obviously not this exact one, but um, lots of people have these uh, these charms attached to their backpacks, uh, their luggage, um, their purses, things like that. I've seen these. And I wonder if that has any, um, any link. I wonder if that's actually indicative of stuff that kind of happens in real life. Right? Or in, in the history of Japan. Alright. Hurry it up. Okay, we got a level. So that's health. Hearts. Courage is recovery speed. Stamina is equip load. Strength. 
Um. Okay, so now we know why magic can be useful. And I'm going to be honest with you, once I get a Switchblade that's absolutely insane, I'll start putting some more points into magic. Um, but man, I'm having so much fun with the katana. I'm going to put points into strength. Oh, and we need to get more elixirs. Before I forget. It's interesting that these things disappear. Like, there's mission-specific um, bizarre items. And not like that one that we got that... Uh, the Not the paralytic. The purifying uh, talisman. But, like, um, other ones that, like, we can consume, like, normally. Can I go through here? No. Okay. <laughs> See you there, brother. Is that that? Okay, it's not new. That's why. Got a couple of these now, too. We'll consider using the um, a cat bell uh, when we get into, like, a boss fight, maybe. For the buff. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even remember what the buff does, but I play insane when I've got the cat. Are any of you guys alive? No. This guy is. Oh. oh. Receive the title Rogue Cutter Samurai. We'll also look at those um, passive bonuses. Uh, in a little bit. We've already looked at him uh, at the start here. Oh, hello. So, we're going to ignore them just for now. Um, we'll do them kind of like, uh, like an end of mission thing. Unless we're really struggling and we need some like minor power advantages. At that point, we'll, uh, we'll consider doing those as we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh, he went for it. <laughs> okay, our sword's in its like awakened uh, mode. Oh, he just like exploded! Holy, dude, this sword is nuts. Did the horn guy come too? Oh, he did. Oh, does this guy have a gun? I just insta killed him. Am I like way over leveled now for this? Not complaining, because they still kill me in like two hits, but not quite two hits, maybe like three. What's this? Temporarily restores your M Rita gauge over time when used. A special gem is believed to possess the ability to revitalize one's soul. That's cool. Throw uh throwing weapon made for fire attacks. It spawns flames that continue to burn for a short period of time. Weapon is made by filling a jar with oil and covering. It's a Molotov cocktail. Don't even need to read the rest. Molotov cocktail. Sick. I'm all for that. Even though I've been kind of going water. That's sick regardless. Okay. Oh, are we going to assault this castle? Oh. Some demons. What 
Wait, are these guys just like little demons? that unlucky Sorry. okay I thought I thought those were the bigger guys um I think the Enki the guys that jump up and and throw the spears is this gonna be a demon realm or a guy it's a guy Give me a bunch of stuff. I see upgrades. It's a decent upgrade. Um, mm, let's see. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking about... Obviously, it's better. I'm thinking about um, the equipment weight. This is better. Melee key consumption, paralysis resistance. I actually don't think that's worth it. We're not going to use that because our sword is nuts. That's a mega downgrade, so no. Even this reduced attacks if you shoot someone, they do less damage. A forging material used by blacksmiths. A long thin strip of, stri of standard leather cord from a tanned animal hide. Flexible, resilient, and grippy. It is widely used as material for the joints of armor. I wonder when we're going to get the ability to do this. Maybe we have to go back to uh, the start. Or whatever that place is called. Where I was saying that I think the, uh, the novice mission is. took stuff off and I swear I'm getting less elixirs now. That's the way it feels anyway. Open says me. Okay. We don't want everything to respond. Or respond. Respawn. So there's like two ways to go though. Shortcut's over here, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh. oh, hello, friend. You're a big boy. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's hit you with the card, yeah? I guess it didn't matter. You just absolutely smashed me. Okay. Good to know. 
He's a smasher. Bomb, give me that. Um, might have to fight these guys again, actually. No, I don't. What are my level ups, actually? What can I level up here? Shifting. Increases your anima by one when you purify your, uh, the yokai realm. With a perfectly timed key pause, recovering the maximum amount of key possible. It's pretty good. Actually. Oh, I've already got it. That's why. Allows you to use yokai ability when in your yokai realm to purify it. Increases your anima by that amount. Reduce the penalty of key recovery speed. Oh, that's huge. We need that. Yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Way of the warrior novice. God damn it, we need to go do this. Okay. We gotta kill big boy here. Come here, friend. Put water on my sword. All right. Damage. Let's hit him with one of these just so it's on him. Why did that hit me? Oh. Clear those. boy. Oh, no. I popped it. This guy is such a mofo. You know what I mean? I mean, I can kill him if I'm not bad. Oh, I forgot about you. My friend? Let's see if I heal here. I've been under the impression that my gear is letting me heal. That didn't heal like I was expecting it to. So I think I might be misunderstanding what my gear does. Here, my friend. Fight him down here a bit. Cyclops, maybe if you shoot him in the eye, you kind of get like a guaranteed kill on him. Turns out I'm just bad 
And I didn't consider that. Like earlier, I didn't do it earlier. Okay, grab all this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What did this guy have? Oh, I didn't grab whatever this is. On the body. Okay. Not bad. So... Wait, what? We actually have a level up, too. But, let's just keep it going. We're gonna dagger this guy. Or dagger, we're gonna arrow this guy. Arrows are so good. Yeah, we definitely want to level up our skill. I'm having so much fun. Ooh, that's good. Let's pop this. We're not going to use the uh, the upgrade right now. Because I, I'm not sure what I want to do. Where I want to take the magic powers. Hello, friend. How you doing? Hit him with a little pet. Take a sip of Pepsi. Boom, done. Let's go, friend. Oh, played out. Give me those. Send those to the bin. Okay, so we're going to have to fight a boss. I mean, we anticipated this would happen. hell is all that wait oh can you not even go this way oh you can this isn't the this isn't the end though right let's go this way Hit him with it, cat. So we got a whole demon realm down here, too. Oh, there's a shrine! Oh, we gotta kill this guy first. Oh. Perfect. Hello, friend. Boom. Oh! What happened? No! Oh, that is tough. I can be hit out of... Um... What the hell is that thing called? The, the tornado. Well. Now we know. Jesus. I don't know how my attacks are missing there, but... Okay. Jesus, he like falls like nine feet backwards. That's crazy. Okay, well... Pretty sure we could just go that way. Is the big guy here again? He is. Okay, well, we're not fighting the big guy again. We're gonna enjoy the liberties of being fast. Shit, okay, we gotta crank the helmet off that guy. Kill that guy. What? Oh no. Well, 
Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He, like, parried us. Past this guy. We're not fighting them all over again. We just gotta not get owned. Oh wait! What is happening? I can't dodge. Okay. That was stupid. What the he's I'm executing him, and he, he's up attacking me while I'm in an execution. Uh, I don't know about that one. This is tragic. Now, we're trying to rush through this, and now we're just losing. Very, very, very annoying. I don't want to have to re-kill every single enemy every single time, you know what I mean? He just dodges every attack. I don't even know what to do. What up? Dude, this guy sucks. Man. That's so dumb, dude. The number of times I died to that guy. I don't think that enemy's fair. I, I don't even understand what the fuck he's doing. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna fight whatever's up here, I think, first. I don't wanna have to run back through everything. Uh, actually, do I wanna do that? The goddamn shrine is downstairs. I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna pop my, my guardian mode and kill that guy. In the middle of an execution and he's standing up. I don't like that. That feels unfair. I don't want to fight that guy. <laughs> Where's the little rat?
get him? Not all the way. Okay, I got him. Okay! We're back to where we were like 15 minutes ago. And we got us a new soul core. Uh, it's the slam. Alright, that's fine. Wait, what? Did he just give me the same sword I was already using? But worse? And blue? Huh. So this is... I don't know if that auto life recovery thing is doing anything. I'm gonna be honest with you. Keep it for now, but I'm not convinced. That's a nice upgrade, though. And this stuff is all not an upgrade. Okay. Uh, again, we'll look at that after. Wait, what is over here? We've got another demon. Well, you know what? We're not even going to risk it. Even if this means I have to fight this guy again right away. We're going to do it. Yep, purify it. Go for it. Attune it. Instead of the Gozuki. I actually prefer this over the Gozuki. Um, okay, we need to make sure that we fill up on our elixirs here. What's this? Oh, it's a shuriken. Cool. That's one of the... Uh, the Whoa, look, it's the little... Uh, the purple guy. That's cool. We saw that guy uh, in that one zone. Like underneath. Are these enemies gonna be here? No. Okay. Jesus. Where's your goddamn head? I just missed. Is that your head? It's red. There we go. I don't even know if that was worth it. We'll just kind of get it. Let me get it was worth it. Okay. Again, we'll pop, I'm going to pop this right now. Even though we're not using it right now. We're not going to... We'll upgrade those after. I want to like have a chance to look at them and read them. But I don't want to do it in the middle of, uh, of the episode here. Hello. Welcome. Mm. How do I get up there? Over there? saw this item. I don't know what it is, but I need it. We got mad buffs right now. I think the... Uh, we got more of those cups. Um, so that's back down there. I think the cat's giving us like a, like a passive health boost. Kill this guy. Is he gonna get up and start attacking me? No. See... That's more fair. Oh, a little green guy. Come with me, friend. I will save you. I'll bring you to the salad. AKA the shrine. Now we go in here and we just berserk this thing. Whatever this is. Finally, we're back. Oh, this guy looks nuts. No! Cool. Oh, that. oh, that. I think I gotta stay close to this guy. Oh, 
he's gonna beam me. I'm not gonna die. Sick enemy. Ooh, we got us a new. Um... Is he talking to us? The blood spli or spider blade. Oh no no no! Don't go forward. What is this? I want to look at all my stuff. Can I open any of these? It's all been looted. What are these elixirs? Stones? Okay. It's blue. Wait, is this like a full on dodge? Ah! So this is actually going to be better than the, uh, I think it's, it's the Enki or the Enrique, the, the spear throw. What is this? The blood spider blade. Better than what we have. What does it say? Increased attack. Enemy killed. Gold earned. Oof. Is this the same type of weapon? Wait, no, it's not. Oh! Wait a minute. Summons a tornado to attack surrounding enemies. This fan is made of leaves. Of the paper plant and imbued with the Tengu's magical power. Are any, am I going to put any of these on? Mm, Servant of the Gods? What is that? Oops. What is this? Oh, there's a set bonus. Well, it's way better than what I'm using. So I'm going to wear it, but... I want to see these. Did he say anything? This Odachi blade was used to defeat a giant spider yokai. And is named in honor of this. The blade is stained a dark red. And spider web motifs cover the hilt. According to a legend of the Chungguku region. A warrior set off to defeat the spider yokai. But a few days later. Both he and the spider were found dead. Lying next to the man was this sword. Those who discovered the bodies feared this sword was cursed. And offered it to a shrine for safekeeping. However it was later stolen and lost. Okay. And the seething dragon. A switchglaive made from the skull of a fallen dragon god turned Arathema. Ar Aratema? The proud dragon god, whose duty it was once to protect the sanctity of the holy precinct, came to resent itself for being defeated and falling in its column. The resentment is so strong that even one, not finely attuned to spiritual energies, can feel the seething self-loathing resonating within the blade. For that reason, it takes courage and a strong will to use this weapon. Anything less and the wielder's soul will wither away. That is dope. I want to I want to look at both of them. Oh, what the hell kind of sword is this? Oh. Look at this thing. It's a big weapon, obviously. What about if we look at this? Wide sweep. Oh, that was I was like, holy shit, what was that? Just a key pulse. Dude, this weapon is sick. What about this? <laughs> yes. Cool. Yo, switch waves? Kind of clean, no? On that low stance. Maybe I overlooked that and I've been lying to you guys this whole time. That it wasn't the move. Dude. Look at this thing. Boom. What is this? Arrows. Okay, here's the move then. So. Well, that was the sword we used before. The Blood Spider Blade is sick. So I want to lock some of these cool weapons. I don't want to get rid of them. 
the seething dragon. These corruption weapons are fucking crazy. Um. We're putting th this back on instead of the blood spider blade. I don't know if I like those big katana. I don't even know if you call it a katana. It's like... Like, you can see in the picture there. It's like a sword spear. Okay, we will address this. This issue here. By issue, I mean the fact that I never seem to be leveling up. And we're putting on that sick soul core. And we may go back on our word and start using a lower stance scythe. The scythe is so cool, but man, is it slow. Huh. So you defeated the bandits and the yokai, but still found no sign of the merchant. Hmm. He didn't strike me as the kind of man to simply wander off. Well, I imagine he will show his face again sooner or later, provided he is still alive, of course. You, uh, you know. You can smell it. On the wind, all the plotting, the deviousness, the skull drudgery, uh, the goings on in the world. Like beasts snaring their prey, it's sickening. In any case, your efforts are appreciated. Someone will be along with your reward shortly. Now I have some pressing matters to attend to. What? I don't care, thank you. Level 23, sick. Okay. Okay, on that note, oh, okay, on that note, we're going to end this episode. Um, not going to lie, that last mission got me a little frustrated uh, with the way some of those enemies uh, were kind of like BSing us. Um, I definitely need to be more aware of like being invincible in uh, the yokai, uh, the, the soul core moves. I keep forgetting, and I've seen it before, so I should have, like, anticipated that I could just get smacked out of it. Um, I was thinking I'd have some sort of, like, hyper armor, but no, he just, like, insta-killed us. A bit Got sidetracked a bit there. Um, uh, but we have some sick corruption weapons, and I'm looking forward to trying them out. Um, so we will, when we come back, uh, we will look at all of this stuff here. Uh, do some item management stuff, and try to figure out... Uh, what we want to set up before heading into the next main mission because the next main mission sounds like a doozy but we'll see so on that note ladies and gentlemen bosses and bossettes thank you for sticking around if you're enjoying yourself and you want to continue to watch uh consider leaving a like or a subscription i'd appreciate it um but nonetheless have a nice night guys and i'll see you in the next one goodbye